Tell me what I gotta do to please you Baby, anything you say I'll do Cause I only wanna make you happy From the bottom of my heart is true Yeah Mm, that song, I'm looking at the lyrics right now. That song is literally what this girl is talking about personified. What's a mistake you learned the hard way that you can now help people to avoid? Oh my gosh, I have always wanted to talk about this. Hmm, what's that girl? I hope all you teenage girls and young women are also listening to this. I am listening to this might help you. On oh. my life, I will never, ever tell a man what I look for in a man ever again. Oh. Like I said in one of my other videos, I'm an open book, so I like to share quite a lot of things about myself. And I Even if you didn't, people will ask you this stuff, you know. Guys that will be trying to date you, trying to get to know you, ask, so what is it that you're looking for in a man? And I don't know why women have never seen this question to be a biased question. Obviously, this guy is trying to get to know what you like. So they they will they will do what you like right so that you keep liking them it's it's quite obvious making this mistake as a teenager quite a lot i did not realize that by telling them exactly what i look for in a man i was giving them the key to my heart boom i want to know by joe that song he's like um i'd like to know what makes you cry so I can be the one who always makes you smile. It's gonna tell, I wanna know. So he's gonna sing this sweet song to you. You're just gonna spill all the beans. You're just gonna tell all your secrets. So that he can be exactly that. But who is he really? He's gonna transform himself into something so that he can always make you smile and all the rest of it. But is he is he okay inside? Is he being a great pretender inside? Like what's going on? Basically telling them how to win me over. And this is how they got away with their Men are absolutely tactical. So for these first few months, these guys that I was dating would do the absolute most. Like they would act like Prince Charmings. All of this so that I could trust them. And once they saw that I started to trust them, that's when they turned into a whole different person. It See, the thing is, that's what I'm saying. They'll change themselves into something they're not. You cannot uphold that. You cannot keep doing that. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable to pretend you're somebody you're not. That's why people need to not fall in love with a certain idea of love or a certain idea of a partner, but actually go for what's realistic, right? If it's too good to be true, it really, really is. There's always a catch. You might not see it now, but you will see it later. There's no perfect person. Somebody can be perfect in so many ways, but in other ways, maybe not so much. There is no perfect person, okay? So once you see that everything's adding up and it's exactly what you want, hey, girls will be clapping, hallelujah, God, thank you so much. This is my blessing. There's always going to be something, even if it's a little thing that will irk you. But if it's all perfect, you might have a pretender, a transformer on your hands, okay? Got to the point where they would abuse my trust. And that's why because also, there are people who might be perfect. But if every single girl you, every single guy you meet is perfect, uh-uh, it can't be the case. They are playing a game. And you might be gullible, which is why all the men are treating you this way. Because they've noticed. Better switch it up, girl. But guess what? Women can play that game too, which I'll get to in a second. Why I'm saying that women can do the exact same thing. The reason why I'm saying this, this is because how many times you see on these like uh, relationship things in the manosphere and the guys are like, we want our women to be feminine. You know, you're coming with all that masculine energy. And then the next woman who will call into the show is all like, hi, hi, my name is Love. Um, I, I would say I'm really soft-spoken. I'm not very masculine. Um, I have a soft tone, I'm submissive, um, uh, oh, were you gonna say something? Oh no, okay, um, may I speak? Okay, so, um, basically I have seven children with seven different baby daddies, they're all in and out of their lives, it's a little bit dramatic, but if you're looking at me, I'm really soft-spoken, I'm very feminine, um, I like the man to be dominant, and um, in any case, so I'm 42 years old. I don't know if I mentioned that already. <laughs> anyway, um, so, um, I'm unemployed, but I'm so, I, I can be such a good wife to somebody. Um, I'm just looking for a nine-figure guy, and I don't think it's much to ask. I feel like I have a lot to offer. Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, well, you got seven? You mean to tell me you got seven, man? 
by se you mean to tell me you got seven children by seven different seven baby daddies that is ratchet well i mean well what you mean by that i deserve a good man because i'm a good woman i'll be a good woman to that man you know what i'm saying and all of a sudden the ratchet root comes out the soft-spokenness is gone this is what you get women do the transforming thing too women do it all the time okay so let's hop into these comments somebody said don't tell him how you've been hurt before either exactly this will just make them take advantage some people go on the first date and be like yeah my ex was like this or like that or speak extremely badly about their ex no good he's very useless he was like this he was like that he doesn't even have this he doesn't even have that oh his breath stink this that that all these things that the next person the next guy doesn't need to know about the last guy you don't need to bash the last guy because the the new guy the current guy is going to think mm. So if I leave this girl, is this is how she's is how she's gonna talk about me? Is that how she's gonna be blabbing about me? And that's when they try and meet this, that's something that they're not. So just so that you at least when things can or don't at least when things don't work out, you're not gonna be like blah blah blah. This person was this, that, and that, right? Somebody says, What if he asks, what do you say? And then this girl said, Tell him, I'll know when I see it. I mean, you can either say that or you can say, hey, you can say, I'm not going to say that right now. I'll be giving away all the clues, wouldn't I? Like, just be like, yo, I don't know. Whatever you do, be creative with it. Just don't say everything exactly from jump, from the beginning. Some of these comments are like, mm. it's not like every guy is just out to manipulate you, right? It's not like every guy is going to be taking notes. Oh, she was hurting this way and that way. So I have to do the exact same thing. And this is where these are her weak points. And this is where I can manipulate the person. No, not everybody's going to be like that. The same kind of goes the other way around. I'm not even going to lie. I've seen girls do the exact same thing. They have so many different faces. They're feminine. They're masculine. They hear men don't like masculine. They cover up the masculine, become feminine. And then when push comes to shove, when things get real serious, all of a sudden that masculine comes out men should just leave women alone you know not every woman is gonna talk with a voice like this that's not normal that's not natural so that's it really on this one if you want to be part of the family make sure you hit bump stomp as zone to that subscribe button comment because i really want to know anything like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what living right god bless mm.